2010 Jags. High Performance celebrates 50 years of giving people what they want at the price they want to pay. Backed up by the best in customer service since 1960. Here's another Jags 50th anniversary video highlight as we celebrate our golden anniversary. After winning four NHRA national events in four different classes in 1997, Jag Coughlin Jr. established himself as one of the most talented and versatile drivers in drag racing history. In 2004, he again embellished his remarkable reputation as a pure driver when he competed in and won the inaugural Mopar Hemi shootout as part of the NHRA's most prestigious event, the U.S. Nationals in Indianapolis, in a Hemi-powered Plymouth Cuda owned by Michael Ogburn a car which he had never raced in previously. The Superstock A cars are some of the most popular and reverenced muscle cars ever to come from Detroit. And a legion of Hemi Cuda and Dart owners across the country are a fervently competitive group of drag racers who take great pride in racing against one another at various events throughout the racing season. I mean, you're talking a 3,200 pound car with you know, 426 cubic inch Hemi monster in the front of it gobs of torque, gobs of just grunt power. They're very rigid cars, and when they take off the starting line, the front end's coming up off the ground, and you're kind of just checking it all out, and you know, your goal is to stay in front of the car in the other lane, and uh, that day, we had a very, very fast race car. I raced for a team out of California. I was kind of a, a, uh, a fill-in shoe, so to speak, and just, just had a blast, and I was able to come back and run a couple more, and uh, we had great success at it. Jag's awe-inspiring performance in the 2004 Mopar Hemi shootout is just another example of his truly immense talents behind the wheel of literally any race car he straps himself into. That's one trophy you don't have, my friend. No, that's for sure, and uh, you know, we'll certainly don it proudly. Uh, I gotta thank the entire uh, Mike Logburn, the owner of the West Coast Hemis, Harry Holton, uh, and the whole Holton family. Uh, they just, they've done a fabulous job putting this race car together, and uh, I really enjoyed, like, like heck, uh, getting behind the wheel and uh, getting this thing in the winter circle here. 